Mass of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor sparked ongoing protests across the country, but they also brought into sharp focus how police officers are trained. Now Ohio's top law enforcement official tells Local 12's James Pilcher that police training needs to change and the state may be turning to a local department for help. Ohio Attorney General David Yost is reimagining how the state trains and certifies its officers. One place he's coming for answers? the Cincinnati Police Department's training division. That's because CPD has been doing drills like this, focused on de-escalating violent encounters for more than 15 years. In this simulation, an officer is confronted with a man with a knife threatening to harm himself or others, but she talks him down and gets him to agree to go to a local hospital, thereby avoiding a confrontation. All right, can you get down The training came out of the reforms the department agreed to in 2002 after the racial unrest here the previous year. We've had to in include de-escalation. For the, the vast majority of the police department, we've not known a different way. Yost told me the protests nationally prompted him to look at the entire curriculum of police training statewide. He wants to incorporate that de-escalation approach through the Ohio Peace Officer Training Academy, shown here in video provided by the agency. There are a number of things that I'd like to see changed uh, and improved, uh, and we've got a team working on how to best uh, approach that, uh, particularly with what people are kind of loosely calling de-escalation training. CPD's Richardson says Ohio Academy officials were just in town this week asking about those de-escalation techniques. It's not a book we take off the shelf or a class we teach. It's woven into everything we do. Yost didn't give me any timeline on when those changes might be coming, but they could be coming soon. The state still is dealing with a major backlog of training caused by the coronavirus. In Lower Price Hill, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. And you can read more about police training, including yesterday's story about how it's changed because of the pandemic on local12.com.